welcome, and thanks for watching. We're out here at my little mini range today, and we picked up a little Kimber. Ah, uh, and it, this gun has been cleared, guys, and uh, clips out. So, now guys, this has a 3.15 inch stainless steel barrel. It has a hammer. Set up like your 1911. I kind of like that. It's got a small size and its weight, let's see, it weighs around 15.6 ounces. Uh, that's the overall weight. Now, uh, it has two magazines and I think these are eight rounds. Two eight round magazines that comes with it. One's got an extension, one's not. It just, uh, it has a little bit of a extension plate, but uh, then this other one has a pretty good extension on it. I like that. Feels real good in the hand. Now, we're going to run some rounds through this. I want to see how this little pistol does. And chambered in a 9 millimeter fixed sights. Well, they're dovetail sights. They can be adjusted somewhat. Three dots. Uh, sights look uh, pretty nice. I mean, they show up real well. So, I like that. And single action. So, uh, just cock it and shoot it. Just like your 1911. Uh, here's your safety. Here's your slide release right here. And it's set up just like my 1911. So, uh, what we're going to do... We're gonna put some rounds to this little thing and see how it does. And uh, we're gonna be using some uh, cellular and billet. Billet. Uh, this is uh, 115 grain uh, full metal jacket. And we're gonna try some of them. Then we're gonna try some of the Norma range and target and give that a try and this is 65 grain and 116 50 feet per second give that a try in this little pistol and then we got some federal 115 grain federal full metal jacket so uh now this comes like i say with two mags you get a decent manual. I mean, this is nice. A little sticker. This is a white Kimber sticker. You just can't see it there. All that comes off and there's a clear white. So I like stickers. I mean, I'm glad it had the sticker in there. And a nice little pouch to carry your pistol in. Pretty nice. Now, we've never shot this. This will be the first time this little pistol has been fired. So, uh, yeah. Don't know how it's going to do, but we're going to give it a try. Give me just a few minutes to load up some mags, and I'll be right back, and we'll give this little pistol a go. Be right back. Okay, we're loaded up, both mags. One with the uh, Cellular and Bellot, uh 115 grain. And then we got one clip loaded with the Winchester 115 grain. Both full metal jackets. And I, I made a mistake on this. One is an eight round and one is a seven round. Sorry about that. And so, uh, anyhow, uh, we're going to put the, this is the Sailor and Bellot in and give it a try. Let me get my plug going here. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple shots at the silhouette, just because uh, this will be the first time I've shot it. I just want to see how this little pistol does. Now, chambered it right up, no problem there. All right, let's see. I'm going to aim as close to the center as that is possible. Uh, about where I was aiming. Okay, let's try the watermelon. Let's try this one. And we had a snap. And so let's see what happened there.
Okay, it hit the bullet. Uh, that would be the first time I've ever had a nine millimeter to not go off. And uh, nah, I think I see the problem. It's got a piece of fuzz down in here. So uh, give me just a second, guys. I want to clean this out. Okay, we got, there was a little small piece of fuzz down in here. And I think that caused the light strike. It did hit it, but it just barely did. And the rest of those are hitting pretty good. So uh, I'm going to put this one back in there. And then we're going to empty this clip on out just to see how it's done. All right. That goes to show you guys, that was probably from the case. Uh, a little piece of fuzz had dried right down in there, a little ball, and it was blocking that just enough to make it light strike. So uh, <laughs> that's doing good. It watered them right up in the water. All right, let's try the, these are the Federals. 115 grain full metal jacket and give them a try. Ah, right, let's try again at that. Uh, let's see, that's bottom targets down here. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's kind of light and it's got a little punch, but it's holding back on a last round. And, uh, like I say, uh, <laughs> uh, had a, that little piece of fuzz was causing it to light strike. Okay, give me just a minute, and we're going to load back up, and we're going to mix that ammunition up between the Norma, the Cellular Bella, and the Federals, all full metal jackets. And just give this a try. So, give me just a minute. Okay, we're loaded back up, and this is mixed up ammo in here, and we're going to give that a try. Chambered it right up. All right, let's just see. Uh, let's try this one down here. And <laughs> just... <laughs> It's just shooting good. I just, a little bit getting used to it. It's super small. Not a lot of weight there, but I like it. I mean, it's doing great. So, uh, uh, it goes to show you, it don't take much to make uh, your forearm not perform the way it should. That little piece of fuzz in there was making it light strike. So, uh, yeah, I'm liking this one, guys. The Kimber Micro 9. So, guys, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all your views and comments. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up. It seems to help. And we'll see you all the next time out here at my little mini range having some fun on the walk with Al. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of y'all.